Tonight, a new push in Baker County to remove a controversial mural from the courthouse. It depicts the history of the county, but also includes KKK members on horseback in the upper right hand corner. Tonight on your side, David Jones shows us both sides of this controversy and what renewed calls for its removal look like right now. The courthouse is a place where we dispense justice. You can't miss the mural itself when you actually walk in the building. It covers the wall facing the entry to the courthouse, depicting the history of Baker County. Take a closer look, though, on the top of the third panel, and you'll see the part of the painting in question. The Ku Klux Klan did not represent justice. Mitch Stone is president of the Florida Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers. The group wants the mural taken down and is calling on the chief judge of the 8th Judicial Circuit to order that. The Ku Klux Klan was an organization that dealt in terror. Their goals were to disenfranchise pe certain people from the, from the system. This isn't a new debate. In fact, First Coast News covered it back in 2015 during similar calls for the removal of the mural. State Attorney Bill Servone of the 8th Judicial Circuit says the decision is ultimately up to the county commission, that the judiciary only controls the part of the building where the courtrooms are. I have not heard anybody say anything about being offended or objecting to it in the years since the matter was first resolved. That's quite a long time ago now. Sometimes I think people are looking for things to be offended at. Jim McGauley is publisher of the Baker County Press. He knew the murals artist, Gene Barber. Barber, for years, wrote columns about Baker County's history for the newspaper. He was very much a nuts and bolts type guy. If you look at the relative size of the KKK thing, you get a good idea of what was going through Gene's mind. He would never, I don't think, want to eliminate it completely. Baker County commissioners did not return requests for comment. In McClenney, David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.